Logan Paul quits Pokemon. Welcome to the Psalm Yu-Gi-Oh! channel where we discuss everything collecting and investing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, once again, why are we covering Pokemon? The collectible asset class as a whole tends to move somewhat together. If Pokemon gets mass attention, Yu-Gi-Oh! and MTG tend to somewhat follow because people go, oh, these went up, maybe mine went up, and then you get just this cross-pollination, let's say. It doesn't mean if one goes to the moon, they all go to the moon, but they are somewhat linked. It's also the big bucks that own all these cards, let's say a DA card world or a very big Trollantoad or anything like that, when they have positions in one and they notice a lot goes up, maybe they liquidate a little, now they have more cash, they start putting in the others, and so there is this cross-pollination. On this channel, we have been following this Pokemon collectibles bubble. The amount of people I've had to fucking argue with. Anyway, yes, collectible assets as a whole are likely in some type of bubble. Does that mean shit will go to zero? Absolutely not. Does that mean we will see ridiculous prices that can't hold forever? On various items, yes. On some items, no. We'll see. We've been following that whole thing. Logan Paul was basically a catalyst in pushing things beyond its limits. What do I mean? Essentially, the start of the year, stuff started going up by itself. I guess it was because some people say stimulus money, other people say everyone was home, so they were forced to relive nostalgia, to think about other stuff. Other people say, oh, now they have all this income, they can't spend on restaurants and vacations, so they spend it on cards. All these theories are fine. They are valid, possible, maybe they all work together. But anyway, the collectible asset class as a whole went up. Whether you're looking at coins or Lego or Funko Pops or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything, anything pop culture and even non-pop culture has gone up. Now, this triggered Gary Vee starting to talk about it. Now, do note, I do not want to say Gary Vee went, oh, he started hyping it. Gary Vee has been in baseball cards from before I was born. <laughs> so let's be very clear about that. But he got louder about it when that started happening which then influenced Logan Paul to jump on that train. He started buying Pokemon cards and got very loud about it. That is when we saw Pokemon go higher than the other collectible assets that had already been going higher. So it's basically you have this entire wave of stuff that went up and then Pokemon just shot beyond that as well because of that hype. The whole Logan Paul thing then led to others getting into it. You had Logic, you had your Steve Aoki. Again, Aoki was already in sports cards as well. But he started that whole thing. So we've been following that because it also brought some people who don't actually care about all this stuff, who were hoping for the quick bucks in the same way we saw the crypto bubble in 2017. Those flippers essentially started buying stuff that was completely whack and overpriced. Now, how do I know that this is overpriced? Base that Unlim already crashed. Now, some people are saying, oh, it only went down 50%. Are you fucking kidding me? 50% is a crash. If the fucking stock market goes down 20%, we start calling it a crash. Oh, no, no, it's done, it's a correction. Shut the fuck up. 50% is a crash. When your fucking Charizard, based at Unlim, PSA 9, by the way, so that's pretty high, when it went for 7K and now dropped to 3.5, when your Venusaur went from 7K to 3K, when your Blastoise went from whatever the fuck to 2K, when your Mewtwo went from 2.5 to 1.1, that's more than 50%, that's a crash. Whether you wanna talk about that or not, yeah, but uh, it had gone way higher than before still. Yes, things will move up, but if you were the sucker who bought it at 7K and now saw their card go to 3.5, you still lost a metric fuck ton of money. So we're already seeing the fact that many of these things were overpriced. But no, the people in the groups, no, 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 no. It only goes up, you know, yeah, I mean, things are still higher than they were before. Yeah, but again, a lot of people got fucked. Base at Unlim isn't rare, yeah? PSA 9 Charizard, Base at Unlim, there's 4,700 copies of that shit. And some people say, oh, no, 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 no. But the demand is so much higher than the supply. That demand was artificial flippers hoping to make a buck. That wasn't some people who just found their love for Pokemon. They're out there. There's a bunch of people who re-found their love for Pokemon, but they were not creating the demand for cards that weren't rare. So we're already seeing it. I think next we'll start seeing it on the moderns. The people buying out to Walmarts. They're hoping to make that quick buck, not realizing that so many people are doing that and no one's buying at these ridiculous prices. So that's already happening before this bombshell dropped. Because we had Logan Paul going, I'm no longer buying. That's a pretty big deal. Because he essentially 
was the start of a bubble on top of a bubble, if you want to call it that. That basically brought in a lot of people who truly didn't actually give a fuck. Those people are the first to go when the market gets cold. Because again, they didn't really care about these cards. If you care about these cards and can hold on long enough, maybe they'll go higher many years down the line. Maybe they won't. Again, I'm no financial advisor. You should seek professional help if you need a financial advisor. But maybe they will go up. But these people who saw the quick bucks because of Logan entered, started buying all these cards that aren't actually all that rare because they don't have the money to go even higher. Again, these kinds of markets are quite elitist, but that's for another video. These people will move and they already have been moving. These base set unlim crashes are people realizing, fuck, this isn't rare. The market's getting colder. I'm out. So when Logan gave that start shot, he brought in a bunch of these and now he's saying I'm out. I don't know, I would be very skeptical. Now, when people heard that news and they have a lot of cards, their first reaction is, huh? oh, no, 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 don't look at that, don't look at that. Steve Aoki is breaking a box with Gary. Yes, he is. And I'm excited for Gary. I hope his event was great. You had the charity and everything, like, cool. Gary's a great guy. Personally, I'm a bit upset that, like, he sold to Logan and Logan had this entire emotional speech. And then suddenly he goes like, oh, I didn't really give a fuck, I'm out. Like, I don't know, maybe it's because Logan just has everything he wants, but even then you would still keep up. You wouldn't like announce that you're quitting. Like, it's such a weird thing. I'd be skeptical. Like some people were hoping that this event with Aoki would create a second wave. And I don't know if it can, because I said this in videos before, how much more hype are you hoping to get? Like people think all of this hype put prices higher and then next time there's more hype, the prices will go even higher. But don't forget, everyone already heard about this on the first wave. When Aoki breaks that box, it's not necessarily gonna reach any new ears. It may reinflate a little mania, but you're really pushing the ceiling of the amount of people who know that old Pokemon cards are valuable. Now again, this does not mean I don't believe in first edition WotC cards. I do. I do believe that those in high condition are rare enough that maybe they'll appreciate over time. I'm plenty bullish on that. But the market as a whole, especially in the lower end, all the modern stuff that's currently being scalped, all the base adumlim even, that's not actually rare, maybe in lower grades, I would be very afraid right now. I would be so afraid. The amount of people I have seen saying, oh, my vivid voltage cases that I'm keeping sealed, they're gonna pay for my kids' college, stuff like that, I don't know. Like that breaks my heart, especially if they are entirely putting their financial future on these fucking cards. Like, I don't know. I'd be very afraid right now. Again, this could all trigger more stuff in collectibles as a whole. Like if there's bigger Pokemon sell-offs, sell-offs that are large enough to make the news or make the very excited hypers even become doomsayers, that will have effect on the entire vintage market. You could have lower end items being sold off as a whole because people start being afraid. You know, if a BSA 9 based at Unlim Charizard can pop and drop, then a unlimb blue eyes and so forth can pop and drop as well. So you can have some fear spreading in the market and creating extra waves. So just be very aware of that. That's also why I covered this on the channel. I think you should be up to date with the entire market, at least somewhat at a surface level, so you know what's going on. That is all, hope you found this interesting. Like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.